Hi everyone, this is David Andrade from Theory Animation, and I'm back with another behind the scenes look at what's going on with Theory Animation. Now this week, I'm going to introduce you to Derek Barker. He's our rendering guy, or the person that we call when things start to catch on fire, which is all the time. So we call him a lot. Seriously. Derek hails from the beautiful state of West Virginia. He also single-handedly rendered Ray and Clovis episodes 1 on 2 in his computer. What that means is he clicked a bunch of buttons and waited. And waited. Until we got an image. This intensive process uses your CPU or graphics card to make final images. It does this by sending out rays bouncing around your scene to figure out what the lights and colors are. Derek has been using Blender to render for five years now. He's been contributing bug reports, fixes, and of course, a furry George. Our writer Katie did an in-depth interview with Derek. Check it out, it's on our blog. You can also grab the Derek Barker Backgrounds Bundle. For a couple dollars, you'll get some beautiful Derek Barker background images for your phone or desktop, and I'll make sure he gets a sandwich. One of the things we like to do for our animators is run them through our apprentice program. This is where we teach them techniques that the senior animators have learned. This month, we concentrated on appeal and breakdowns. Let's take a look. So yeah, iguanas have a, a very interesting way uh, of how they walk. Like a normal person, when, when they're walking, just kind of steps like this, and then their foot kind of twists a little bit, right? And, and then kind of like lift off a little bit like that. And then they go about their merry way. And that's kind of what a walk looks like from in front, okay? But uh, in Iguana, they do some unique things when they walk. But you can see how this leg kind of really peels off. See that? Mm -hmm. Almost like really, really stuck until the, like even this little tip is still there. And then when he pulls in, his mm -hmm. foot kind of sticks out. So I wanted to incorporate that into Ray a little bit. I, I didn't want to go too overboard, but he's an Iguana. So I wanted him to kind of feel like, like that. Clovis doesn't do that because he's a kitty. Well, but like kitty, kitties like to kind of keep their legs and their everything all together. Like he's mm -hmm. going to keep all of his stuff like right here to have a really low profile. So he, he's not moving so much. So that's kind of like one thing that I, I, I wanted to incorporate. And again, it's, it's really small, right? Like a normal person walk versus like an iguana versus Clovis. Mm -hmm. These little things help differentiate them. So whenever you hear me say like, oh, the breakdown could be better. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So now we have these two keys here, right? But this breakdown could be better. So a good example of that would be, you know, maybe maybe I want it to zoom by. And so I'm gonna squish it down and I'm gonna squish it out this way. And again, this is just, all I'm doing here is just changing the way it gets from one frame to another. And it's just breakdown. See that? Mm -hmm. So that's what's happening here is that you have this this normal way of walking with Clovis, but you know, for Ray, that normal way of walking is a little different. It's just a different way to pass that position. Lastly, we are releasing today a brand new hoodie, a zip up hoodie. Grab one today and I'll send you a free copy of Ray and Clovis, a special edition on DVD or as a digital download. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at theory animation. As always, sign up for our newsletter, join us for monthly updates, Send DJ Ray a message and be good. Until next time, this is David Andrade from Theory Animation.